how I love shooting invisible people at the start of a Battlefield 4 match. <laughs> it's, what's up, guys? Faded Lime here. It's been about over a month. Over a month? I think it's been over a month. Long time, I must say. Long time. And I, uh, you know, I generally apologize when I put up a video. And it's just the way life works, man. It's just the way life goes. You're fucking, you're so busy that... It's either you just want to fucking chill when you get home, you have no time for anything, and that's just the way things work. But apologies to everybody, especially you guys that just keep sticking around and staying sub to me. You guys fucking rock. And yeah, all I can say is I, lo I love you guys. You guys kick ass. Now, what I, what I want to talk about, as the title suggests, can there be peace after ISIS? Something pretty much unprecedented has happened thanks to the evil that is ISIS. It has brought the Western world and the Muslim world together for the first time ever. At least in my recollection. Rec rec yeah, never mind. <laughs> Fuck. One take commentary. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure it's never happened before. I don't, you know, even, you know, the great wars, I don't, I don't think the Arab world and the Western world really got together. I'm pretty, I don't think many Arab nations, besides trying to fight off the Nazis by themselves, got into, uh, really teamed up with the West. So this is something unprecedented. You've got former enemies, great enemies, like Iran and Syria and America, joining sides, taking sides and working together to stop an evil on a grand scale as the world and the media would like to say, ISIS is ultimately one of the most evil things we've come across in quite some time. They, they make, uh, they make Al-Qaeda look like puppy dogs, really. Now, I pose the question to you guys. Do you think there can be peace after this? Do you think this could lead into more cooperation between the Muslim nations within their, themselves and the West and the Muslim nations? This is something that, you know, since it was said that a whole whack of these, of the Muslim world was going to get together and join this coalition against ISIS, it instantly popped into my head was, okay, this can either be very bad news, and already there's been a bit of a, a, a mistake. A Syrian fighter jet happened to fly into Israeli airspace, apparently accidentally, and the Patriot defense system fucking took it out. So, ugh, that... Is that a step backwards? Was it an accident? You know, as the news comes out, hopefully it'll... The guy made a wrong turn and it was just a complete accident and hopefully nobody gets pissed off and we don't end up with a war between Syria and Israel and and this whole thing falls apart. I'm hoping, hoping, this is a hope of a person that has no connection to that side of the world, but, you know, it affects us. It affects everybody. It affects what we pay for, it affects our daily lives when there's bullshit going on on, that, on this part of the planet. So, do you guys think that something like ISIS and everybody being brought together to fight this one specific evil, do you think this can last? Do you think this will lead to more cooperation? I, personally, think there will be a bit more cooperation between the West and the Muslim world after this. N not drastically, like I don't think Iran's just going to be like, yeah, what's up, let's, let's be trading partners, let's fucking open our borders and let's all have a fucking party. I don't think that's, it's going to go that far, but I think in the grand scheme of things, this is a good step forward. And if the world can learn from the fuck up bullshit past that we have when it comes to the Muslims versus Christians, West versus the Middle East type crap that happens all the time if we can look past that and see that something great can come from an evil and if we can bury the bullshit of our past and hopefully push on this could potentially lead to a much brighter more tolerant friendly future i don't know let me know what you think in the comments below till next time this is Fade line signing off